Hi, Story Wilson with RSW Solutions. This is a quick video of how to use an Elm 327 Wi-Fi adapter. Some of these adapters are a little bit different from brand to brand. You never sometimes really know quite what you're going to get. But in general, what you're going to do is you're going to start your vehicle up and plug in the Wi-Fi Elm 327 device into the vehicle OBD2 port. This will give the device power and the Wi-Fi network will be created once the Elm 327 device has power. Then you're going to go ahead and go into your Windows environment. And you're going to wait about 30 to 40 seconds or so for the, for the um, Wi-Fi network to broadcast. And in your listing of Wi-Fi networks, there is a new network. In this case, it's called V-Link. Uh, sometimes it's called OBD something or OBD Link. This one's called V-Link. It's usually going to be in the top of the list. The list is sorted by strength of wireless signal. This is my home network, and this is the next one down on the list, and it just showed up. We're going to click on it, and we're going to connect. It'll go through the connecting process, and basically, also, it depends on the device, but the majority of Wi Fi Elm 327 devices, you're going to connect, and it's going to be DHCP, meaning that you're going to get an address uh, on your, for your, uh, for your own PC automatically. The, the Elm 327 Wi-Fi device is acting as a, uh, it, its own Wi-Fi router and, it, and, it's, it, and its own DHCP server. So we're going to check that. So see, it says here that we're connected and we have limited connectivity. But we're going uh, to pull up uh, Windows Command Prompt. And we're just going to pull up Windows Command Prompt real quick. Uh, the executable is CMD. And we're going to just type in IPCONFIG, IP config. And we see here that uh, we have an address that's been assigned to us automatically. Great. No further configuration is necessary with this Wi Fi adapter. It's operating in DHCP mode, and we have a 192 address, a non routable 192 address. And if I wanted to start real quick, start the uh, 4D CAN software. What I'm going to do next is a quick verification that everything is working properly. Um, so we're just going to do a test connection real quick. Attempting to open. Uh, Wi-Fi is open and here is the response from the Elm chip. We're good to go. All subsequent communications are going to work just fine between the 4D CAN software and the Elm 327 Wi-Fi. If the process for you is different or it goes wrong in one of the steps, just please let me know and we'll, we'll figure it out. Thanks.